Hopefully get this second half underway. All right, another attempt. Are we ready to go? Rory Torrey brings it in, sends it across the field. Nice little pass to Charlie Bullis, who tries to get around. Andrew Drummond doesn't manage it. Backhand from the number one, Sasha, trying to get to his number three, who does manage to pick it up with a good lean out from the saddle. He tries to send it towards the middle, gets a bump. Let's see if the Swiss have had a good halftime talk from their coach. This is going to be a difficult shot. He made the shot. Oh, what a fabulous attempt. That's a really hard shot to do under the neck. Near side shot. And he was only a foot or two wide. Very good attempt by Martin Luganbull. All right. Hit in again from the U.S. They haven't managed to get over the halfway line. Team play from the Swiss picking up their men very quickly. Rory's again going the same play. Again, Drummond making a move towards Charlie Bullis. Bullis pulling in behind him. And I don't think the referee's quite got the understanding of advantage and letting play play. Because Charlie had the ball and he was going forward. Absolutely no need for a whistle. Advantage would have been a good play there. Anyway, it's still a penalty to the U.S., So, Rory Torrey to take this penalty from the centre of the field. Switzerland back in defence. Maybe they can meet this and turn it into attack. Rory going to try that dribble again. I'm sure they're not going to let him get away with it again. Sasha moves for the hook, didn't quite get it. Rory still going. He's looking for the under the next shot. He's got it away. Certainly doesn't have the distance. Tito stops it. Tito picks it up. Tito's got the right to the ball. Can he send the pass away? Doesn't quite reach the players or does it? Sam Clements there with Sasha, and guess what? Anybody want to guess? Yeah, the whistle went. And it looks like a penalty in favor of the US. I must say, I think if I was one of the Swiss, I would have, uh, I would have challenged that one. Why do I say that? Because I'm the one who makes the decision on the challenge and I would have said that was definitely a, probably a penalty in favor of Switzerland, but there you go. All right, here comes Rory Torrey with a 60 yard penalty. It's defended by Switzerland. Rory goes for the big shot. It's gone high, it's gone far, but it says it's gone wide. So a let off for the Swiss. And the ball judge puts the ball out very delicately and carefully on the line. And Tito, come on, Switzerland, let's go. Oh, Tito, take, keep your eye on the ball, man. Relax. Here he comes. He's trying to hit it too hard. He's just making too much effort. Now you've got a chance. Relax again. There we go, a little tap. Make contact first, worry about it all later. Great near side backhand from Sam Clements, but picked up and read beautifully by Martin Lugumbull as he goes across the field. Needs to tap it, does well. Now he needs another good under the neck. Can he pull the pony up a little? Get a chance to pull it into the middle. Nice play. Tito's got time just to turn it into the middle. Hit the ball now. Get out of the way, Sam Clements. Here comes Tito at speed. And the whistle goes.
right, Rory Tory brings it in. So onto the ball, Tito being ridden hard by Charlie Bullis. Bullis, Bullis steals it. But right in front of us, Bullis steals it. Charlie, uh, Andrew Drummond just watching him. Tito under the neck, unfortunately runs into the umpire. He had a good shot there. Oh, Sam Clements stopping on the ball, gets away with that one, comes off Tito's pony. Where is it now? Charlie Bullis picks it up at midfield. Charlie trying to turn the corner. Martin Luganball going to put pressure, does well. He's still there with Charlie Bullis. Martin on the boards, tries to get the back end, fishes it around, doesn't quite manage it. Bullis still got the ball, coming along the back line. Bullis doing really well. He's just got to get a reverse near side. He does, but it's well wide and it comes off the cane. Is it still in play? Can Tito get to it? No, it's gone out over play. So we'll have a hit into Switzerland. All right. Tito brings it in. Looks upfield, goes to the big shot. Look at that. That's what we've been expecting from him all day long. Drummond running quick. He's just got to get there. Can he get there and tap it? He goes to the cut. He gets the cut. Well played, Andrew Drummond. What a pass from Tito there. Tito, wow. That's what he's been expecting. A little relaxed. He got a good connection to that. Great timing with the stick on the ball. And that was probably going 110 miles an hour. That's what we're talking about. Great cut shot from Andrew, just manages to chase it down in time. Well, it's a good opportunity to get yourself some food if you're feeling peckish. Crikey, we get some exciting play and then it just stops again. This is uh, polo for you, I guess, horses and all that. But it'd be nice if we got a bit of uh, fluidity to the game, a little continuation so we can get into it a bit. Anyway, why not go get yourself a mano pizza or a Stoneacre picnic? The Newport Clowder Company is getting chilly enough as that sun goes down for a bit of chowder or a nice, hot, freshly made sweet bee donut. Looks like Andrew's back up on the pony. Hopefully he'll be back out to the middle. And the goal difference is only two, you know. You keep thinking the US is getting away, but the Swiss are just keeping in contact, which is... Boding well for an exciting game towards the last chucker. And the line up, USA going down towards the Jumbotron. The clock starts. And looks like Sam Clemens having trouble on the pony. Charlie Bullis on a great pony comes back at him, though. Martin gets to it, does he? Oh, he leaves it for Tito. Tito. On his own, goes for the under the neck, it bounced on him, but Martin's behind him, backing him up. He's looking upfield, goes for the shot, overcuts it. That's one for Drummond to run onto. Charlie Bullis there on the near side first, very careful not to cross the line. Two number threes going for it. Bullis is going to try and turn it. Martin's going to try and sneak in there and steal it. Bullis has still got it. He looks upfield, goes for the pass, comes off Sasha's pony, gone wide. Bullis has still got it though, doing really well with that horse. It's quite incredible. Where's the ball now? Oh, Tito met it beautifully. Sends it back into the pack. Who's got it? Martin's got it. Sam Clements gets a backhand. It's met by Sasha. Sasha, the number one, going on the attack. Can he get through? Bullis, Sam Clements. Sam gets a bit of a backhand on it. Does enough. Martin picks it up. 
Switzerland playing as a good team at the moment. They're getting backing each other up. They're moving, they're moving. It's going wide at the moment. It's going to stay in play, though, right on the line. Sam Clements trying to back it up. He's left it for Rory Torrey. Rory picks it up. Drummond tries to take Rory out, goes across the face of him. We could have again played advantage, but of course the umpire needs to be important and blow his whistle. When advantage would have been fine, Rory was through, could have gone on. It is a penalty against Switzerland. Uh, Charlie, I mean, Andrew Drummond came right across the face of Rory Torrey. Rory Torrey could have played on and uh, had advantage, though. But there you go. It was a foul.